Return of the Screw is about two haunted children, played by myself and Thomas, um, who are being haunted by two ghosts of their former governess and Quint, who used to be a friend of the master and stayed behind to look after the children. And no one quite knows in the opera what's happened in the past. Mars is a supposedly just a well brought up boy in this manner, kept away from his family, doesn't seem to ha have any father figure or mother figure that you hear about, and the governess and possibly Quint fill in those two roles. <laughs> Flora is quite mischievous, I think, with Miles. She has a very, very vivid imagination. I haven't done a lot of acting before, so acting was sort of new. The singing less so, but acting was quite scary, and just through the whole of the piece, that, that was it. And for me, as long as Marla goes okay and my towel doesn't fall down, the piece has gone fine. <laughs> When I did it before, I was younger and closer in age to the age that Flora is. And so as I've got older, I think I, I see Flora in a different way. And I think she definitely seems more evil and malicious than she did when I first played her. There are lots of theories to do whether the governess kills him and, or the power of dismissing Quint killed him or things like that. And I, I think I've gone with the most simple option that the power of Quint of dismissing Quint killed him rather than the governess. But I think it's for everyone else to decide what's really gone on. Peter Quint! You devil! Well, I think I think the wonderful thing about this opera and the reason that people should come see it is that they can decide. It's left very open, I think, as to whether it's happening in the governess's head or whether the ghosts actually exist. Don't be worried if you have no idea what's going on. The whole point is it's shrouded in mystery.